Hi everyone, today we're going to be working on this uh, design right here. It's just a metallic uh, sponging with a cascading leopard print and hopefully you can see that okay. So as you can see I've already done uh, all my nails except this one so we're going to start with this one here. and. Um, Forgive me if I'm a little, um, what's the word? <laughs> Wonky with the camera angles. I'm still getting used to this now that I have a functioning camera that I can actually show a live tutorial. So we're going to paint our main color. This is a pink metallic color and it is called Pink Steel and it is from... Uh, LA Girls and this is from their their metallic metal collection Big steel so the coverage on this polish is really good as you could see so I'm not going to need a second coat especially since I'm going to do some sponging so we're going to let this dry for a couple minutes and then we're going to work on the sponging Okay, so our pink color has dried now, and now I'm going to take a clean color, and this is metallic purple, and I have a little piece of cut up sponge here. This is a, just a plain uh, kitchen sponge that I cut up into little pieces, obviously brand new, you want to use a new one. And I'm just going to paint a little bit of the purple onto the sponge and then I'm gonna um, just lightly sponge a little bit of this purple onto the pink just a little bit a few random places you still want plenty of the pink to show through you're just gonna adding some dimension by sponging this purple color and don't worry if you get it on the sides you could just take a little q-tip with some nail polish remover and clean up around the nail so that's the purple sponge on the pink now we'll give that just another minute to dry and then we'll move on to the next step Okay, so now the sponging has dried, the purple is dried, and the pink underneath is dried. We're now going to do our leopard uh, spots, and we're going to do it in a cascading pattern. I'm going to do it on the left-hand side of my nail, um, on the right for the camera, um, and go in a slight diagonal. So we're going to just place a drop of black onto a sheet of paper. and using um, a dotting tool with a large head I'm going to this camera doesn't want to stay still on my tripod with the large head dotting tool I'm gonna pick up some of the black and I'm gonna make a few um, amoeba type shapes on the left side of my nail working from the top and going down and then slightly along the bottom here so the end should look like that
Now taking a smaller dotting tool, I'm going to dip it into the black again and I'm just going to make some tiny little dots around the outer edges of the, uh, the larger spots. Just following the same pattern. And so it should look like something like that. And again, we're going to let the black dry, and then we're going to come back and do our final step. Okay, we're back again. The black has dried, and we're going to apply the glitter on top of the leopard spots. This is our final step. And we're using today LA Girls Glitter Addict. And this is a bright... Um, magenta color and it's called provocative so we're just gonna place a drop onto our sheet of paper and we're going to be using our small dotting tool once again this is the tiniest one that I have it's probably practically non-existent and we're gonna dip it into the the glitter and we're going to just place a small dot onto each of the larger um, leopard spots not the tiny dots just the uh, amoeba shaped dots and again this just gives the design more sparkle more dimension you don't want to completely cover the black just want to put a little spot into each one just like that And that's the look. We're going to wait for this to dry, apply our top coat, and we'll be done. 